You think you know me. Good evening, everybody, and welcome to Monday Night Raw. This is good old JR Jim Ross here at ringside with Jerry the King Lawler and King, the side of Candace Michelle, coming down to the ring with Edge must put a smile on your face. It's always great to see Candace, and I've saved her the best seat in the house. She can manage Edge from right here at the announce table. I know we're short a chair, but that's okay. I'll let her sit on my lap. That's a generous offer to be sure, King. But I think for the time being, Candace is determined to prove that she can be the advantage that Edge needs to rise to the pinnacle of the Raw roster. And I'd imagine that would involve taking a more direct role in this match than just observing it. Oh, come on. You don't really think that Candace plans to interfere in this match, do you, JR? King, I don't know if you read WWE.com today, but this man has some rather interesting things to say about Edge's new valet, Candace. I always read WWE.com, and I couldn't believe some of the things he said. But you and I know those are probably just good-natured ribs. He's probably just jealous of Edge. I mean, who wouldn't be? Plus, I can't help but notice that there's no diva with him at the ring tonight. I think that's beside the point, King. If he wants to win this, he's got to focus on Edge rather than Candace Michelle. That's right. He should focus entirely on Edge. I can focus on Candace enough for the both of us. Ladies and gentlemen, Raw has come home for one of the biggest events of the year, live in the heart of New York City. They don't come any bigger than the Big Apple, JR. And they don't get any better than the superstars of Raw. They sure don't, King. New Yorkers don't impress easily. But there's no doubt in my mind that the Raw superstars are more than up to the task. I tell you, King. Sometimes I get exhausted. There's lots of these superstars in here. I know what you mean, JR. I don't think most people appreciate what incredible athletes these WWE If he's looking for a weapon, he's in the right place. He countered that one perfectly. Did you see that? That's going to leave a mark. I think that's the whole idea, King. Oh, man, what a shot from that poor object. Whoops. There goes the referee. Oh, man. And now there's no one to keep order in this matchup. Boy, this John Cena sure is one of the most exciting young prospects. I hope he's not looking for a weapon. That could do some serious damage. Oh my God, a thunderous blow from that sledgehammer. Man, talk about getting hammered. And what a slobber knocker of a shot with that sledgehammer. That'll rearrange your facial features for sure, JR. He's bringing the hammer down, JR. He sure is. And the longer he holds that sledgehammer, the uglier it's going to get. Excellent count. What ring presence. Look at the fans, JR. They know what's coming next. They sure do. And there it is. The FU. What an impact. It does appear that Edge is getting much love from this crowd tonight. And who can blame them? They're certainly not getting much from Edge. That's not true, JR. I'm sure this arena is just full of Edge heads tonight. You might not hear them cheering, but that's probably because they're in awe of the fact that they're watching their favorite superstar. Or maybe it's because the Edge heads turned on Edge right about the same time he turned on them, King. I think they do a pretty good job of making themselves heard, but with those boos instead of cheers now. You gotta respect the commitment and the dedication of these superstars to their careers. I can't believe what I'm seeing. He used his opponent's own finishing move. I think someone's looking for a weapon under the ring. This could get ugly. What a 
vicious chair shot. That chair was never meant to be used like that, JR. Good grief. I don't care how tough you are. A chair shot is a chair shot. You can't take too many of those and expect to continue. Wow, listen to these fans, JR. You can fool some of the people all of the time, and all the people some of the time, but there's no fooling the WWE fans at all. A textbook reversal there. There aren't many superstars as diversely talented as John Cena. He's as good in the ring as he is on the mic. Oh my gosh, can you imagine getting beaten with your own finisher, JR? He may get the three count here. We could be looking at a pinfall here, folks. Wand my sooner backside. That shot dropped in like a sack of spuds. And the wand's got to be loaded with something. So much for Candace not being an advantage for Edge. Well, she practically won the match for him. Yeah, with the help of whatever that wand was loaded with, he's still not moving. Well, look who it is. I mean, I've heard of a glass jaw there, sport, but you must have the world soft as noggin. You got KO'd last week by a piece of plastic. Piece of plastic, my ass! What's in that baton? It knocked me out cold and cost me my match. It's not a baton, it's a magic wand. And the only thing that it's loaded with is magic. Look here, Wicked Witch of the West. Keep that magic wand to yourself from now on. What? Wicked Witch? That's it. You and me in the ring tonight. What? You gotta be kidding. I don't do bikini contests. What the hell? I know. How about a singles match? I'll see you out there, girlfriend. Hey, what up, sexy thing? Shut up! Hey, dog, what's up? This is Big Viss. I just wanted to say, I can't believe what happened to you tonight. That's some crazy magical type stuff. Good luck on your match, though. And, uh, you know, I was wondering, maybe we could get together and uh, have a couple of drinks after the match tonight. What do you think? I'll see you later. King, in all my years in this business, I've seen a great many unexplainable things, but I don't know if I've ever seen anything like what I saw, or at least what I think I saw backstage just a few minutes ago. Now let me see if I've got this straight. Candace just used her wand to turn Edge's opponent from last week into a diva so that she could face him, or is it her, in a singles match. 
I can't believe I'm actually saying this, but yes, that seems to be exactly what happened, King. And I know exactly how crazy that sounds. Well, they're gonna have to send us both to the loony bin, JR, because for once, we agree on something. Absurd, preposterous, ridiculous, surreal. All those words fit, but none quite sum up what we're seeing here. I can't believe this is the same superstar Ed's face last week. Believe me, I know what you're saying. But if this is some kind of a trick, this girl's done her homework. This is the exact same interest he always uses. Plus, even though I still don't believe this, I have to admit this superstar is looking better than ever. Candace had better watch out. She could be out diva here. Jim Ross here, and on behalf of me and Jerry the King Lawler, we welcome you to Raw Action Live from Chicago. The Raw superstars are gonna blow the Windy City away tonight. I can't wait. Neither can I, King, and I know these fans can't either. So let's get started. That went nowhere. Excellent counter. What ring presence. What a counter! Uh oh Talk about a hole you don't want to find yourself in. No kidding. This will rearrange your anatomy. So, JR, are you enjoying the match so far? Yes, I am. I think these superstars are putting on one hell of an exhibition here tonight. What's your favorite part of it so far? I don't think it's happened yet. My favorite part of the match would be when you quit yapping and let me enjoy it. Now, now, JR. Keep your words soft and sweet, because you may have to eat them later. Sounds like this crowd's got something on their minds, King. Who cares about them, JR? Look what's going on in the ring. I think I know who's gonna win this one, JR. Oh, really? Enlighten us, King. This is a mistake, JR. Everyone knows that overconfidence costs superstars match. That might be true, King. But all I see is a very confident superstar who's got everything going his way. Three. So, how do you think this one's going to turn out, JR? Honestly, King, I have absolutely no idea. Anything can happen here in the WWE, but you've got to have a guess, right? I might, but I'd rather keep it to myself if it's all the same to you, King. Submission holes. Could this be a tap out? It isn't. The hole can't be broken. You can't take this kind of pain for long. Oh man, I've been in this hole before, JR. This brings back some bad memories. I can understand why, King. I can't even imagine the pain being inflicted here. I certainly question some of Candace's techniques from time to time, but there's no denying that she's got. A fierce competitive spirit and some serious athletic ability. Not to mention an incredible pair of legs. I wonder what type of the old... And it's been reversed. You know, King, I'm not sure if Candace is all there most of the time. She seems a little spacey to me. That makes sense, JR. I think her ring attire might have been made on the moon because her body is out of this world. You know, just when I think you can't embarrass me any further, you somehow find a way. Oh, come on, JR. You know you love it. And I know I love watching Candace in action. I think it's pretty obvious which way this one's gonna go, JR. Well, from my perspective, this is still anybody's match. I'd like to see things from your perspective, JR. But I'd have to get my head out of my rear end first. And Lord knows it's been up there for so long that that would be no easy feat. Listen to 
of the crowd, JR. I think they've got something to say to these superstars. And if they're smart, they'll listen. Remember, without these fans, these superstars are out of a job. Oh, boy, this is not going to be an easy hole to escape from. It sure isn't, JR. I've been on the wrong end of that one many times. Did you ever think you'd be watching these superstars compete against each other here tonight, JR? I have been here. That submission is locked in, JR, and this is a tough hole to break. It sure is, King. And even if you break the hole, it takes. Here's your winner, John Cena. So how are you enjoying being a WWE diva? At first, it was kind of weird. But now, wow, look at me. I'm a perfect 10. A perfect 10? Oh, please. This is what a perfect 10 looks like. I hate to tell you, you're not a perfect 10. A 9, maybe. But him, I, I mean her. You know, Edge, I think even Davari could have put that better. In fact, let's find out. Check on Kenny, Batman! Check on Kenny! I can send all your man, Nista! In English, in this! And check on the machine, Hala! Check on the machine, John! Whoa! We've got a rematch tonight. And like I said, you're going to see what it's like to be in the ring with the perfect 10. We just saw a number of strange events take place, but the one that still has me puzzled is Candace's comment about being a perfect 10. That's what you're worried about? Not the fact that Edge sounds like he should be coming to work on a flying carpet from now on? That wand of hers obviously has some kind of power. And Candace must have done something to herself, but what did she do? I don't know what she needed to do, JR. She already looks like a perfect 10 to me. You know, I don't think he had any idea that his comments about Candace Michelle would lead to any of this. How could he? As far as I can tell, everything we're seeing here is completely impossible. I certainly have no earthly explanation for it. I've seen many a strange thing in my time, but nothing like what we've seen lately. I shudder to think what could come next. Welcome to Raw and Boomer Sooner, everybody. This is Jim Ross here with Jerry the King Lawler, and I couldn't be happier about coming home to Oklahoma City tonight. These Oklahoma fans are fired up and ready for the greatest superstars in sports entertainment. And they should be. I've seen the lineup for tonight's show, and I honestly don't think it could be any better. What a counter! He reversed it! These superstars are going to put each other through wrestling hell tonight. They've already got a pretty good start on that, JR. Uh-oh. 
Come on! You gotta stop this guy before he really gets going! I don't think that's gonna happen, King. He's built up too much momentum to be stopped now. I've been looking forward to this match all night, JR. I can't believe it's finally underway. This has been a hotly anticipated contest. And as far as I'm concerned, it's living up to the hype. No question about that, JR. The fans certainly seem to be into it, that's for sure. And when it comes down to it, that's all that matters. This has gone beyond just being a match, JR. I think these superstars genuinely hate each other. There's no love lost between these competitors, that's for sure. If looks could kill, somebody would be pushing up daisies right now. And you've got to admit, that makes for a much more interesting match, JR. It sure does. But I just hope these superstars can settle their differences in the ring and leave it at that. So, how do you think this one's going to turn out, JR? Honestly, King, I have absolutely... The submission is locked in! This could be huge! Oh my gosh, JR! You can't go long without tapping out to this! Well, you can't ever accuse the WWE fans of being shy about saying what's on their minds. You sure can't, JR! And I don't think we'd have it any other way! These superstars are putting on a great match so far. He can pin him right here, JR! One, two! Is that? No, only two. It looks like they've slowed the match down a little. And I think that's some good strategy right there. It certainly is. I'm sure they're well acquainted with the old expression, fools rush in. Is that why you always seem to be in such a hurry, JR? I think I've eaten a little too much good Oklahoma barbecue in my day, King. The hurry anyway. Boy, what a match. I wouldn't even hazard a guess as to who's going to win this thing. What? Have you got both your contacts in one eye, JR? It's been obvious to me since the start of the match. Oh, really? Well, then, why don't you just enlighten the rest of us, King? No way. I can already tell this is going to be a great match. And I don't want to ruin the ending for you. You're too kind, King. You're also... That submission is locked in, JR! And this is a tough hold to break! It sure is, King. And even if you break the hold, it takes its hold on you. Boy, this John Cena sure is one of the most exciting young prospects in all of WWE. Oh, come on, JR. John Cena's a thug. You know it. I know it. And all of these people know it. It makes me sick that he's allowed to be a WWE superstar. I don't know how you can say that, King. Cena has dedicated himself to entertaining these fans, and quite frankly, I find him to have more character than many so-called respectable superstars. There's a difference between entertaining the fans and setting a bad example, JR. I think the fact that SmackDown could ever allow John Cena to become WWE Champion is an example of why they're the number two brand in sports entertainment. You're not going to get me to say that SmackDown's superior to Raw. But if they were, John Cena would be a large part of the reason. Listen to the crowd, JR. I think they've got something to say to these superstars. And if they're smart, they'll listen. Remember, without these fans, these superstars are out of a job. Excellent count. What ring presence. I think we're going to find out just how much punishment the human body can withstand here tonight. I think you're right, King. These superstars seem intent on taking each other to the limit. I love that attitude, JR. Go big or go home. Well, these superstars sure are. Look at the fans, JR. They know what's coming next. They sure do. And there it is. The FU. What an impact. There's a pin. One, two, three. I got it. I figured it out, King. Figured what out? That perfect 10 reps. 
Candace wasn't talking about her physical appearance. She was talking about her wrestling skills. You know, I thought she looked a little better than usual out there. A little? King, she was wrestling better than most WWE champions. And looking a lot better, too. No, no, oh no, not again. You two stay the hell away from me. You're crazy. I don't want anything to do with you. Huh? That's it. I'm out of here. Oh, no, you don't. I'm not done with you yet. It's my man, Boogeyman! And then I am someone big it am! Fine. Whatever. I'll be in the ring. Well, I must sound like a broken record by now, but I simply cannot believe what we're seeing backstage. One minute, there was no Boogeyman, and then there were two. Yeah, and the Boogeyman's a SmackDown superstar. What's he doing on Raw? King, that is quite honestly the very least of my concerns right now. I agree. I'm not used to this entrance, and I have to admit, it really creeps me out. Too bad Candace isn't here with her wand. Did I just hear you right? Did you just say that if Candace and her wand were here, that'd make you feel safer? You think you know me. And here is, hailing from Toronto, Canada, Edge. Well, sort of. I think it's Edge, JR. But how can we be sure? I mean, is that Edge? Or another boogeyman? Or was the first boogeyman Edge? How can we tell who's who? Well, considering that we happen to be talking about Edge and the boogeyman here, it would seem to me that the obvious suggestion would be to compare dental records. Do you think Edge likes to eat worms? I can't believe this man hasn't lost his mind yet, King. As crazy as all the recent goings on have seemed to us, he's been right in the middle of it. His mind must be completely blown, JR. If he stops to try to make sense out of any of it, he might just lose it. My advice to him would be to go with the flow. That and, well, I never thought I'd say this, stay the heck away from Candace Michelle. Hey, now I sound crazy. JR Tim Ross here with Jerry the King Lawler welcoming you to Raw live from Los Angeles, California. I love this town, JR, and I hope I get a chance to audition some young starlets later. Boy, you just never stop, do you, King? Personally, I'm looking forward to tonight's show. I think it's going to be a real barn burner. <laughs> I wouldn't even hazard a guess as to who's going to win this thing. What? Have you got both your contacts in one eye, JR? It's been obvious to me since the start of the match. Oh, really? Well, then, why don't you just enlighten the rest of us, King? No way. I can already tell this is going to be a great match, and I don't want to ruin the ending for you. You're too kind, King. You're also full of horse manure, as far as I can tell. Ah. 
This match has the potential to be an instant classic. And I think these fans are too stupid to realize it. How can you say that, King? How can you insult the intelligence of these WWE fans? Well, I heard that we gave them an IQ test, and the results came back negative. Folks, I've got to apologize for the King here tonight. He must have gotten up on the wrong side of somebody else's bed. So, how do you think this one's going to turn out, JR? Honestly, King, I have absolutely no idea. Anything can happen here in the WWE. But you've got to have a guess, right? I might, but I'd rather keep it to myself if it's all the same to you, King. I think these superstars are getting some feedback from the crowd, JR. He countered that and made it look easy. Look at this, JR. Can you imagine SmackDown putting on a match half as good as this? No disrespect intended for our SmackDown colleagues, but no, I can't, King. I truly believe Raw is the dominant brand in sports entertainment. You hit the nail right on the head there, JR. The dominant brand. Not the slightly better brand or the sort of superior brand. Absolutely not. I'm a raw man. And I have to believe we're head and shoulders better than the competition. You won't get any argument from me, JR. SmackDown's the minor leagues as far as I'm concerned. I don't understand how these fans can boo Edge, JR. They've got no respect for everything he's done for them. Oh, you're full of it, King. These fans, do oh boy, of all the things that can happen to you in a ring, that's got to be one of the most painful. No kidding, JR. That's some very delicate equipment down there. Sounds like this crowd's got something on their minds, King. Who cares about them, JR? Look what's going on in the ring. Excellent counter. What ring presence? Boy, this John Cena sure is one of the most exciting young prospects in all of WWE. Oh, come on, JR. John Cena's a thug. You know it. I know it. And all of these people know it. It makes me sick that he's allowed to be a WWE superstar. I don't know how you can say that, King. Cena has dedicated himself to entertaining these fans, and quite frankly, I find him to have more character than many so-called respectable superstars. There's a difference between entertaining the fans and setting a bad example, JR. I think the fact that SmackDown could ever allow John Cena to become WWE Champion is an example of why they're the number two brand in sports entertainment. You're not going to get me to say that SmackDown's superior to Raw. But if they were, John Cena would be a large part of the reason. Yeah. You think you know me. King, this must be one of the strangest matches we've ever had at SummerSlam. And considering how it got to this point, that should come as no surprise. A ladder match for Candace Michelle's magic wand? I suppose whoever gets it won't have to worry about any more strange transformations. 
and I have to wonder if Edge has any intention of sharing that wand with Candice if he wins this match. As much as I'd like to be close to Candice Michelle, I'm not sure that being turned into the boogeyman and talking like Davari is worth the price. If I was Edge, either the wand goes or I go. This match may be his best chance to get that wand away from Candace and return things to normal around here. And not a minute too soon, if you ask me. Yeah, but he's got to beat Edge to do it. And Edge is just about the last guy you want to have to face in a ladder match. You're right about that, King. This is the kind of match that Edge built his professional career on. This won't be an easy victory for either man. This is one heck of a match so far. It sure is, Taz. What do you think the highlight has been so far? Well, that'll probably come a little bit later on in the match. When you decide to shut the yap for a few seconds, then uh, enjoy it in peace. You'll well, excuse me for doing my job, partner. Sorry to have disturbed you. And there's the reversal. He anticipated that move perfectly. I think we're hearing the First Amendment in action here tonight, Taz. It's a great thing to hear, Cole. I'm all in favor of freedom of expression, whether I agree with what they're saying or not. Man, even if you end up winning a match like this, you're going to be feeling it for the next week. Yes, but that's the case if you lose as well. And having to deal with emotional as well as physical pain is that much worse. Emotional? What the hell are you talking about? Well, I've been in the locker room after a match and seen the superstars who don't get their hands raised. You can literally feel the disappointment radiating off them. It's not a pretty sight. Watching these superstars go at it reminds me why I prefer to stay on this side of the announce table. Oh, come on, Paul. You know, you should let me train you. You could be cruiserweight champion in like a year. Oh, no. I've heard stories about the way you train people. You make Marine drill instructors look like pushovers. Duh. They're just training people to go to war. I train them to be WWE superstars. Well, thanks, but no thanks, partner. I think I'll stick to announcing for now. Man, this, I'll tell you what, man. This one's just turned into a fight. Pure and simple. We knew it was going to be it. He's got his opponent on the ground. Could this be it? This is it, all right. STF you. Look at this, Cole. He's going for it. He's swinging for the fences with that sledgehammer. He's all about bringing a hammer down. And that proves it. Fans, they love John Cena. I get that. But this is not a popularity contest. It's a physical athletic competition. I don't think Cena's got any problem being physical. I just think there aren't many superstars who have accomplished what he has between those ropes. If Booker wants to win this game, he better get focused on his opponent and get his mind off the fans. You know, Cole, I'd ask you who you were pulling for in this match, but I think it's pretty obvious since the beginning who you're rooting for. I never claimed to be completely objective, Taz. 
It's no secret I respect superstars who stick with I think these fans know what's coming next. You know it, Cole. The F.U. Man, get a load of that power. These superstars give everything they got when they're in a match like this. But a lot of people don't realize what they sacrifice behind the scenes also. No question. If you want to make it in the WWE, you've got to sacrifice just about everything for your career. It has to be as important to you as anything else in your life. Paul, what you got to realize, to make it in the WWE, this is not a job. This is a lifestyle. That's why you see so much passion for what they do in the ring. And that's something you won't see anywhere else. With all due respect to every athlete and entertainer out there, no one gives as much of themselves to their fans as the WWE superstars. This capacity crowd is making their opinions known tonight. No surprise there, Cole. The WWE fans ain't exactly known for keeping their opinions to themselves. Well, there's a legacy for you. How'd you like to be known as the superstar who inspired other superstars to cheat their way to victory? I think it's great that Ric Flair is still active in the business after so many successful years. He's still got a lot to teach the younger superstar. Like what? How to cheat to win a match? How to distract the referee so your partner can take advantage of his opponent? I don't think those are the kind of lessons that need to be handed down, quite frankly. Well, tell Booker to stop breathing, Taz. He was born to entertain a crowd, and I don't think we've ever seen anyone do it better. Yeah, well, you know what? Your fans like to see you win matches, and maybe a title every now and then, too. So, you know what? Booker T, you better keep his mind on that. Booker T has accomplished so much in his career. The Intercontinental title, the United States title, five-time WCW champion, more tag team battle reigns than I can count. Hey, the ref's got a tough job. I mean, trying to keep these superstars on the up and up, that's hard. Well, it's easier to get some superstars to play by the rules than others. And you know what, Cole? If you're going to get on your high horse again and give us another lecture about playing fair, I swear to God, I'm going to throw up. Is it so wrong to ask a superstar to play by the rules, Taz? That doesn't seem to be so unreasonable to me. That's because you never competed in a match, Cole. If you did, you'd know that you got to do whatever it takes to win. And if that means bending the rules a bit, well, then that's just the way the cookie crumbles. And the crowd has come alive tonight with a chant directed at the superstars in the ring. Yeah, and you can't let that. Both of these superstars are determined to stay on the ladder. These superstars are beating the hell out of each other. Man, I can't tell you how impressed I am with what I've seen here tonight so far. How could you not be impressed, Taz? These are some of the greatest superstars in the world doing what they do best. Hey, slow down, girl pants. I went into this expecting a good match. I'm just saying it's even better than I thought it would be. I know exactly what you mean. These superstars certainly are pulling out all the stops. I've been looking forward to this match all night long, Cole. So have I. It's certainly been one of the most anticipated matchups in recent weeks. And usually when you have that kind of hype, it's really tough to live up to the expectations. But these superstars ain't having any trouble doing that. They sure aren't. And that's an impressive thing in and of itself. Goal because those are the guys who win. There's a lot of superstars out there who pretend to be nice guys, but when it comes right down to it, everyone is looking out for number one. This is not a fight that either superstar can afford to lose. I look whoever loses this fight is gonna have a long fall in their immediate future. makes me proud to be part of this company. I'm with you, partner. You just can't experience a thrill like this anywhere else. And that's because you ain't gonna see athletes like this anywhere else. You certainly aren't. They're the greatest athletes in the world. 
And this is the only place you'll see them doing what they do best. You just don't see action like this every day, Cole. You sure don't, Taz. And we've got the best seats in the house. No doubt, front and center. You couldn't be any closer to this match without being in it. <laughs> Whoa, that's your territory, partner, not mine. I'm perfectly happy staying right where I am. But Candace wants it back. You've got to be kidding. He'd be an idiot to give it back. That would do it for me. I'd give her anything after that. I can't tell you how glad that I am that you don't work for the Department of Defense, King. He snapped the wand in half. Finally, it's over. What a relief. You're telling me? This place is crazy enough without having that sort of thing around.